Here is how you can start and stop the Smart Grow controller. Install 6 AA batteries in the Smart Grow controller, in order to ensure safe shutdown during a power failure. Plug the power cable into the electrical outlet. The LED power button lights up or blinks, to indicate that the controller is working or changing modes. At first start, the LED starts blinking to indicate, standby mode. The controller is waiting to be turned on, press the power button and wait for up to 2 minutes. The controller switches to, start or shut down mode. When the 2 minutes are over, the LED lights up to indicate, on, mode, and the controller starts working. There are 4 different power modes. In case of a power failure, the controller switches to, waiting for power to arrive mode. If no power is supplied in the next 30 seconds, the controller switches to, start or shut down mode. The smart grow controller will shut down after 2 minutes. When the power comes back on, the controller automatically starts working. In case of a fatal error, the controller continues to work even unplugged. To fix this, take the batteries out, wait for 2 minutes while making sure that the batteries are working, and then put the batteries back in. Connect your smart grow controller to the power, and it will start automatically.